Hello YouTube makeup lovers. So today I wanted to do an updated room tour of my makeup slash office area. I have made quite a few changes in this bedroom and I wanted to share those with you. Originally in this room I had a bed right about here and it was kind of like a guest bedroom slash makeup room but I find myself always editing my videos on my bed so I just wanted to get a desk just to be a little bit more comfortable because here in the vanity there really wasn't all that much space for my laptop because I have all my Muji doors on top and then I did want to keep it kind of separate and make this like my makeup room, my filming room slash office. So I did go ahead and purchase this new desk from Pottery Barn. And then this is just a little couch that I already had. I've had this couch for years. It's a pullout couch. It has a little twin bed. It was like an off-white color and it was a little bit dirty. So I decided to reupholster it this minty green color. I will make sure to link down below the original room tour. In that tour, I did show you guys what my makeup room vanity looked like. I actually also have a separate vanity tour where I show you everything inside my vanity and how I like to organize my makeup. So I'll go ahead and link that one down below as well. But the original room tour did feature this room, which did have a bed in here because it was like a guest bedroom. It also shows you what's through this door, which is my bathroom, and then that room down there, that is my actual bedroom. So I do show all that in the original room tour, so you can go ahead and check that out. But today, I'm gonna focus on the updates that I have done to my makeup room and now slash office. So the vanity is pretty much still the same. I mentioned in my previous video, this is a vanity that's been in my family for a very, very long time. I just had it repainted white. And this is kind of where I do my makeup. It's also where I sit to do my videos. I put my tripod over there. I remove that tray. I put my tripod over there and that's what I film. So pretty much in the videos, you guys usually see this as my background. Um, the only difference right here is that I have bought this pillow with a B. This is the B, well it's also the B for B Lounge makeup, but it's also the B for my first name, Belen. So I bought this at Walmart online. It's like the initial pillow. I got it for about $13 and I like the pillow, but it looks, I feel like it looks a lot more black in the camera than it does in person. It doesn't look like that high quality. I mean, it's cute and I like it. And for $13, it's kind of really what I wanted, but it doesn't look the same quality of the pillows that are on my couch and also the one that is on the chair of my desk that one I had made I got I got the striped fabric and I had it made and then this is also another pillow that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond it was a little bit more pricey you can definitely tell that the quality of this pillow is a lot better than the quality of the Walmart pillow and it just doesn't look as black in person it kind of looks a little grayed out I'm not sure if the camera shows that but I like the pillow, I'm not super in love with it. I kind of expected it to look a lot nicer when I saw the picture online. So I will continue trying to find another pillow that does have the initial B, but that's what I have for now. So that's something that's new in this little side of the vanity, but what is completely new is my desk, which is gonna focus on, as you can see, I am uploading right now a video on YouTube, which will hopefully go up later on tonight and I can probably be able to post it tomorrow. But anyways, here is the desk. This is the Bedford desk from Pottery Barn. It's a smaller Bedford desk. It comes in two pieces. It pretty much has the top part of the table with the two legs and then you get the three drawers separately. So I ended up getting the three drawers that have two drawers on top and one big one at the bottom. They also have the option of two big drawers on the bottom or you can even have open shelves instead of drawers. I have to say my experience with Pottery Barn was not good at all. It was damaged the very first time I got the drawers, so I had to order a replacement drawer. They were on back order. When I got the replacement drawer about a month later, they were damaged as well. 
They were so rude to me on the phone. They were not helpful at all. I was very upset with them. You figure that with the prices that you pay at Pottery Barn because they're not cheap, they would at least be nicer and offer better customer service, but they didn't. I was pretty much ready to return everything, but then they wanted me to box it all up I didn't have half of the boxes that I had originally received because some of them I had to throw out. They were huge. They really didn't fit in my house. And it was just so much of a hassle to even box it up that I just said, well, hopefully the third time's a charm. I did finally get the drawers again and these were perfect. So these are finally the drawers that I'm gonna keep. The first ones had a crack. The second ones had paint chips right here at the bottom. And these are finally perfect. So I am keeping the desk, but I will be rethinking purchasing from Pottery Barn again. I was just so not happy with the way they acted or anything like that. But this is the bed for a desk. It is a very beautiful desk. I also got the chair that goes with that desk. It's like a swivel chair. It does come, well, it doesn't come with it. You can buy the cushion, but I did have the cushion reupholstered to match the mint green of the couch. The cushion originally had a beige fabric, but the chair is very comfortable. It, the pieces all come pretty much built. That That is one thing that was a good thing. You don't really have to build all that much. Everything pretty just pretty much just comes in huge boxes and it's already made. I pretty much just pulled the chair out of a gigantic box and that was it, it was ready. I put this little striped pillow on the chair. This is a pillow that I had made. I bought the fabric and I got two black and white striped pillows. This is one, the other one is right here on the little sofa as well. On top of the desk, I have some books. I have a Christian Lebiton book, I have Chanel The Vocabulary of Style, and I have a Louis Vuitton book, Art, Fashion, and Architecture. So these are really beautiful books. They're kind of like tabletop books, but I like to have them here on my desk. All these books were purchased on Amazon.com. Right over here, I have this tumbler, which I really love. I got this online on a website called Ooh La La Finds. It has this awesome Chanel emblem. It's personalized with my name, Belen. It says Eau de Jo. I just thought it was really cute. Honestly, I never even use it. I just kind of have it for decoration. Here I have some coasters. These I bought in Epcot Center in the Paris store where they have all the France movie and all that stuff. So it's there in Epcot Center here in Disney World. I also have this little pencil holder. It's acrylic and the bottom is gold. That is from Kate Spade. I bought that on Amazon.com as well. And then I have my little Eiffel Tower in blue. This I also got in Epcot Center in the France store. I've always wanted a little Eiffel Tower sculpture. I have a little notepad right here. This is also Kate Spade and I bought that also on Amazon. I have my laptop, my iPhone, which is, this is just stuff that I put on the desk, take off the desk, it's just what's on the desk right now. Then I have my drawers. In my first drawer I have a stapler tape that's also from Kate Spade. I have this little Joe Malone box from the small perfumes that I just like to keep there for storage of smaller things. Then I have two EOS lip balms. These, these little acrylic um, kind of organizers, these I also got on Amazon.com. So I'll try to link them down below. I actually have two sets and they stack up nicely one on top of the other. I have some pens here, some markers. I have have these gold scissors that I also got on Amazon.com. They're called like the Fatima scissors. I think they're like for a seamstress. I have more coasters, another Jo Malone box. In the back I have some earphones from um, Apple, some post-it notes. What else do I have? On the bottom I have some gold binder clips and gold paper clips also from Amazon. And then under this one I have nothing. So I just have extra storage space on the bottom if I ever want to add anything. In the second drawer, I pretty much just keep my laptop. I have my Erin Condren planner, which I think is really cute. I had it personalized with B Lounge makeup. This planner, I really like. It's really, really pretty. It has 
nice calendars. It has, you see all the years. It has all the years. Well, you pretty much see the entire year at a glance. For here, it starts in July. That's what I meant to say. You can see the months in this format. Like you can see the whole month at once, or you can see the days individually like this. And it's just really cute to keep it organized. I have been liking to use it to plan the videos that I will be posting on my channel. So this is the Erin Condren Planner. And I will also link the website down below. I also keep my iPad in the store and this is where I keep my laptop. That's kind of like the sleeve where I like to keep my laptop in. The third drawer is actually a filing cabinet, but that's not really what I use it for. I kind of use it for some camera equipment and other things like that. I have these boxes in here that just keep my cords nice and neat. And then here is where I have my external hard drive and just a couple other boxes for storage. This is also where I would put maybe my camera and my lenses. So I do not really keep any files here, but these are the little, um, kind of like the little things where you would hang your hanging folders from. So this is pretty much everything in my desk and on my desk. I was thinking of maybe getting some cute little flowers there in a nice little square short vase, but I still really haven't gone around to do that. But so far, I really like it like this. It's nice and simple. It has everything that I need. And most of all, I love sitting down and editing my videos on a desk how it should be and not like hunched over on my bed as I have been doing for the past couple years. And then over here I have my mint green couch which I love. I just had a friend come over and while I was on my desk, she was sitting on the couch and it was just so nice and comfortable to have someone over and chat instead of us just here hanging out and have someone just like on the bed when they actually wanna be sitting down. So like I mentioned, I had it reupholstered in mint. I got two pillows in the mint green. The striped one also is one that I bought and just had made, I bought the fabric. And then this one in the front is a Paris pillow, I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond and it features my beloved Eiffel Tower because Paris, as you can tell, is one of my favorite cities in the world, if not the number one favorite city in the world. I got the awesome chance to live there and study abroad for about four months and I just fell in love with it, which is why I have the pillow, the Paris coasters, and the Eiffel Tower over there. So I have a huge love for Paris. They do have these pillows in Bed Bath & Beyond still. They also have them with like London. I've seen them with New York. They have a bunch of other really cool cities, but of course I chose Paris. All the artwork on the wall I have purchased at Z Gallery. These over here that they look like magazine covers, I bought at Z Gallery a very long time ago. I think I've still seen some available. Those I got maybe about three or four years ago. This one right here, this one is fairly new. I did get this last summer and I did also show it in my original room tour. But that's pretty much everything with this room tour. I have some shelves right here with my little granny doll. I have some shelves with books. And then on this other side, I also have shelves with books and a bunch of albums here that I have made on Shutterfly. I am totally camera happy when I go on trips and I always do albums on Shutterfly.com. So these are all the albums that I have made on Shutterfly. I also have little albums right here. So that is pretty much it. This was my updated office makeup room tour. I really hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below in case there was something that you were wondering about that I did not mention. I'll make sure to answer it. And as always, I wanna say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Bye.